Okay, so for testing, very quickly, let's go to our server and let's kind of quickly show you what that web server looks like. So let's bring up a web browser and I will go to that locally on my system. So doing that is a very simple web server, but this is what we should see from the desktop that's gonna be utilizing that virtual IP and the firewall rule. So let's go ahead and close this up. And now, based on our network diagram, let's go ahead and connect to the desktop and access the server over the internet or through our lab internet connection. So to do that, let's bring up the user computer that we're connected to. And I will do HTTP followed by the WAN IP, the external IP, which is 10.0.0.1 on port 8000. And we are connected, beautiful. So we have confirmed that our VIP and our matching firewall policy rule is working. Now, before we continue on and do some of our VPN related configuration, let's do some quick cleanup here. So let's kind of confirm that the VIP was added and that we have a new firewall rule that was added to our California firewall. Then let's also confirm that nothing was added additional to our New York firewall. So let's go back to the California firewall. Let's log back in. Okay, great. And let's quickly go to the policy page. And there you see a new section here for WAN to LAN policies. And there is the rule that we just added with some traffic going in, which is us basically doing our testing. And if I go to, to our virtual IPs, we see our rule added here automatically. So very, very nice. Everything from the 40 manager system. But what about the New York firewall? So let's actually go there and log in. Then let's go to the policy page and there should only be one policy rule for outbound access. So you see that there's no section for WAN to internal seven, which is good. Let's open this up. There's our outbound access rule that we would expect. If I go to our virtual IPs, you will see that there is nothing added there. So great. So we just wanted to kind of show you that what we did was it was only applied to a specific firewall, not all firewalls, because that might be the case. You may have a particular set of policies or features that you may want to be only configured on one firewall, but not the other. And what we did was we showed you how that process works.